Let's take a look at percent equations. Complete the following statement. Write your answer as a decimal or whole number. 80% of $20 equals blank dollars. Okay, well let's set this up. Since they told us to write our answer as a decimal or whole number, I'm gonna work with my decimal version of 80%. So to turn 80% into a decimal, Keep in mind, right now, 80% is the same as 80.0%. Our rule to convert or go from a percentage to a decimal is that we're going to move the decimal point two places to the left. So that gives me 0.80 or 0 0.80. So 0.80 of $20. Now, of is a key word. When you're talking about a percentage of a number or a fraction of a number, that's a hint that of means to multiply. So we're going to take that 0.80 and multiply it by our $20. And then we're going to see what we get for our missing number, which we can call x. Okay, and then if you multiply 0.8 times 20, That gives us 16. So 80% of $20 equals 16. And I always like to do a check and say, does it make sense? Well, 80% is most of a number, right? It's more than half. It's even more than three quarters. 16 is most of 20, so that seems to make sense. Ninety percent of blank, some number, equals nine. Okay, so let's set up an equation. Remember that 90 percent is the same as 90.0%. Since they asked me to write my answer as a decimal or whole number, I'm going to turn my 90% into a decimal. So to do that, I need to move my decimal point two places, which gives me 0.90 or 0 0.90. Of is a keyword that means to multiply. So I'm going to multiply 0.90 or 0 0.90 by my missing number. Since I don't know what it is, I'm going to use a variable. You can use x, you can use n to stand for some number. I like x, let's use x here. And that's going to be equal to 9. When I go to solve this equation, notice that x is being multiplied, I'll use my multiplication dot here to show that, by 0.90. So if I want to get x by itself, I have to do the opposite or inverse, which would be to divide by 0 0.90. Keep in mind, whatever I do on one side, I always do the same thing on the other. And now we just divide. 9 divided by 0 0.9, that's going to leave me with 10. So x equals 10. So 90% of 10 is 9. Now, does that make sense? Yes, 90 is most, right? 90 out of 100 would actually simplify to 9 out of 10. So that makes a lot of sense. 100% of some number equals 10. OK, we can write an equation here. But you might also be able to do this one off the top of your head if you remember 100% means the whole thing. So the whole thing of some number is 10. Well, doesn't that mean that 10 is the whole thing? 100% of 10 is 10. Now, if you wanted to set up the equation to check it, to just show you what that would look like, remember 100 is the same as 100.0. If I want to take that and turn it into a decimal, I would move my decimal point two places, which would give me 1.0, which is the same thing as just one. Of means to multiply. So I'm going to multiply one times 
let's say I didn't know this yet, we would call it x, and that's going to be equal to 10. So if I solve that equation, well, x is being multiplied by 1, my opposite is to divide by 1, and doesn't 10 divided by 1 give me 10? So you could set it up the same way, or you could just say, well, if it's 100% of it, it's the whole thing, so it's got to be 10. Blank percent of $10 equals 1. Okay, so this time we want to find the percentage. So thinking about how we set up our equation, we know a percentage of our number equals one dollar. Okay, so let's use P for percent. So some percentage times 10 is equal to one dollar. Now we usually write our number in front, so that's the same thing as saying 10p is equal to 1. So if I wanted to solve this for p, p is being multiplied by 10, so my inverse or opposite would be to divide by 10. So 1 divided by 10, well that's 1 tenth. Another way to write 1 tenth is to put 1 in the tenths place. So point 0.1. Now remember, this is our decimal answer. Since they want to put it as a percent, point 0.1 means the same thing as 10%. Because to go in the opposite direction, I would move my decimal point two places, which would make it 10.0. So 10% of $10 is $1. Blank percent of 25 equals 20. Let's set this up just like we did with the last one. A percentage times our number 25 is equal to 20. It's the same thing as saying 25% or 25 times our, num our percent equals 20. To get P by itself, we're going to divide by 25 on both sides. And if you divide 20 divided by 25, that gives us 0.8. Now this is our answer, but it's written as a decimal. Notice I want to write it as a percentage to fill in that blank. So to go from a decimal to a percentage, I move my decimal point two places to the right, which gives me 80.0% or 80%. Seventy-five percent of twenty dollars is equal to what? Okay, well, let's take our seventy-five percent and write it as a decimal, right? Seventy-five percent is the same as seventy-five point zero percent. So to turn that into a decimal, I need to move my decimal point two places, which gives me seven five or zero point seven five. Of is a keyword that tells us to multiply. So 0.75 is multiplied by 20, and let's see what that gives us. Okay, well 0.75 times 20 gives me 15. So 75% of $20 is $15. Now, again, use your logic here. 75% is three quarters, right? 
what's a quarter of $20? Well, 20 divided by four is $5. So three of that, five, 10, 15. So it makes sense 